Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? HTG Doug here, continuing uh, Lego Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars free play videos where we get all 10 mini kits and you listen to me talk for about 12 and a half minutes. So good for all of you, I guess. All right, so here we are. Shadow of Malevolence. This is General Grievous Chapter 2. Uh, doesn't really matter what character you ki kick, <laughs> what character you pick. They'll give you all the ones that you need. So it uh, doesn't matter what ship you pick either because they'll give you all the ones you need as well. So pick your favorite, and we'll start it off here. So right at the beginning, uh, you're going to see a green little arrow on your screen. You'll s It's kind of moving around. And there you go. One of the ships you need to destroy is right there. There are five, and... I, I I probably have mentioned this, but this game is very frustrating with its control sometimes, and trying to hit these ships is is one of those times. <laughs> it's because it just it's it's so hard to control the ships and aim at the same time, and it's just they they don't it doesn't want to aim at it, and it's very frustrating sometimes to to hit where I want it to. But so yeah, just uh, follow the green arrows, and once you get all five, the mini kit will be yours. Some of them are below you, so you're gonna have to go down. Some of them are above. I just. Just follow the green arrows, you should be fine. Uh, but anyway, uh, for the record, I do have all the red bricks on, invincibility, all the multipliers, the mini kit detectors, the, the everything. So if you're look, wondering what those white arrows are, those are the mini kit detectors, but I'm sure most of you know that by now. But So there's number four, and that one actually went down pretty easily, so... There we go. I, th I thought I was going to be able to go over here and get this really quickly, but turns out mm, I cannot. Do you actually need rapid fire to be able to damage um, the, uh, the the blocks with the red and the red sparkly? I don't I don't know what to call them, but uh, yeah, you need rapid fire. And I, I I said I am not used to flying Lego games, so I, I did not even realize that you could switch. Um, aircraft in the middle of a mission to be honest with you guys so i'm gonna figure that out a little bit later but yeah rapid fire and we're gonna have a little fun with that later on as well because trying to get that mini kit is a pain Ugh, frustrating but okay so let's go up here and get this last ship which is actually behind me and where do you go what oh uh, no what, what what the uh, oh there he is all right no get him where do you go there he is all right and yeah, see the aiming not not so good, not not so good in Star Wars Land. So there it is. There's number five, and there's our first mini kit of the level. And now we're gonna go over to the far right where those purple rotating circle things are. I don't I don't know what they're called. As I've stated before, I've never seen Star Wars. Don't know anything about it. I still have not seen this, and I have actually platinumed this game. So yeah, little little confusing. But anyway, the, what you're going to have to do is there is a... Obviously, the mini kit is right in there. First of all, don't get killed by a uh, purple laser thing. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to basically just go over there and it'll open up the the little uh, panel, I guess you want to call it. And you kind of have a limited amount of time for this to work. So as soon as it shoots off the purple thing, go over to it and grab up one of the missile ships, like the pirate saucer, and just shoot those little three silver things, and once you do, the mini kit is yours. And as I died like five times from that thing. All right, so let's now go back to where we were before with that black box with the red sparkles around it, and we're gonna go take care of that. So like I said, you need a, you need a rapid fire ship. Any rapid fire ship will do, doesn't really matter which one. So pick whichever, I don't even know which I'm using right now, but just grab any rapid fire ship and go over there and shoot the box and the mini kit will be inside of it. Now, pretty simple, I would say, but the hard part is actually getting the mini kit because they're not going to put it right in front of you so you can grab it. No, why, why, why would they do that? Why would they do that? That would just make too much sense. So let's put it above where you can actually fly to because you can't go up and down in this game. And let's make you do some kind of special trick to get it. But let's make it super hard to see where it actually is and let's not make it any like magnetism to it at all so you have to actually get it dead perfect and let's just frustrate us for a little while as i try to get this and finally i had to do a backflip to get it but ridiculousness aside that is number three and we can move on to the same mini kits for now anyway because i had some trouble with other ones in this level as well but as i said we'll get to that later okay now that my rant is out of the way 
we're gonna destroy some stuff in this area here. And uh, there we go. We got the little gold satellite dish in the back. And once you destroy that thing with the rapid fire, uh, that will be mini kit four for us. So on to number five. All right, in the back right corner here. Yes, back right, but we're gonna take care of this. Oh, no, we're not, I changed our mind. See, I, I almost, I had both of us fooled, yeah. You thought we were going over there too, but. Anyway, so grab a Sith character and we're going to open up this little box here. And then we're gonna switch over to the Magna Card, Magna Guard or Ro Ro Robonino and just use the electricity panel. And we're gonna send this space rocket thing into space, but. That will actually be mini kit number six. But for now, we're gonna go over to the left over here and we're gonna use Jar Jar and actually jump and get a mini kit. Uh, a little bit further to the left. There it is. So pull this, the little grapple handle and then switch over to Jar Jar and just jump up and grab that. And that will be mini kit number five. All right, so now we're gonna go over and we're going to knock out that the little thing to finish to not finished, but continue on with the mission, even though we already have torpedoes, but just, I, I've had some trouble if I try to skip stuff in LEGO games with a glitching, with the glitching on me, so I, I, I like to do everything as straight as possible and not worry about it, that way it doesn't glitch on me, so. Alright, so there you go, so just, once you get back on the ship, just destroy that little space rocket you send out there, and that will be mini kit number six. But yeah, like I said, I've, I've had some trouble with glitches in LEGO, if I try to skip stuff, it, it glitches on me, and I just don't want to take that chance. I haven't really had it happen in this game, but I'm, I'm somewhat familiar with LEGO games, and I, I know that it happens, and I'm just not trying to push the issue, push my luck, you know what I mean? So, yeah. But if, if you are if you want to skip some stuff, then feel free. But me, I, I, I just know one of these days LEGO is going to just decide to screw me over, and I'm going to be very upset. So if I can prolong that as long as possible, then we're gonna do that or at least I'm gonna do that all right so you're supposed to go and take care of some stuff over there but I, I for some reason whatever reason I decided to go over to the left first and destroy that panel I don't know what I was thinking I'm sorry just it, it seemed like a good idea at the time that's all I can say for some reason I forgot that I had the ship with all of the the protons on them and I just I don't know I don't know what to say that's <laughs> That's my excuse for the level. But anyway, we're gonna destroy all this stuff over here that way we can land on that landing pad there. I, I, is, is it just me? Like, why do they look like health signs? Like, ambulance things? Like, is that like an actual Star Wars thing or is that just what they decided to make it? Because every time I look at it, I'm like, why is there a health symbol on my landing pad? It's just, it's just weird to me. I don't know. And I haven't ranted about it yet as far as I remember, so might as well rant about it now since I'm apparently ranting the rest of this video all right so back in the back left corner uh this is going to be somewhat of a confusing mini kit to get so i'm going to try to help you guys out here and I, I mess up a little bit so bear with me here but as long as you learn from my mistakes that we're good all right so there's two carts in here and one of them you have to take and you're going to have to put it on the very first one and then you're supposed to go over and put the second one and cover up the last four but uh, I had a little trouble figuring that out at first, so just said, bear with me. As you can see, the, the bottom four will kind of uh, kind of stay green for a little bit until you hit the next one, but yeah, and I'm getting pissed off on these guys, so I'm just like, yeah, let, let's take care of that. But like I said, the first one goes on the very, very first one at the top of your screen right now. On the second cart, you're going to grab it, and you're going to, starting with the bottom, just work your way up and hit them all, and that will give you the mini kit. And I, I just... So I've, I've ranted a little bit about direction in this game and usually like little mini games or puzzles in this in Lego will give you some kind of hint as to what you're supposed to do this one nothing at all and I don't know if it's because I haven't seen the movie or what but no direction you basically have to guess as to what it is at least as far as I can see uh, so it, it, it was very frustrating for me and I just this, there's a lot of things in this game that just frustrate me in general so but there you go. So like I said, first one goes on the top one. Second cart just slide it along the bottom four. Starting with the bottom one and you should get it pretty easily. Alright, so that was number seven. So we're going to move on to number eight here. And this is another one that I had some problems with. And I luckily I have video footage to prove it. So once you use the little uh, seed 3PO point here. 
Uh, I think I'm, did I messed it up the first time. I think I did. But uh, it's going to open up a swimming pool with an obvious grapple handle in the center. So, of course, you're going to have to grapple it and pull it. But as you can see here, it's not working. I don't know why. I have, I have no idea. I'm obviously grappling it. I'm obviously pulling it because I'm circling around the swimming pool. And it's obviously not working. So I'm going to... Maybe, I don't know, maybe I have to do it from the diving board? Uh, nope. Maybe I have to do it from inside the pool? Nope. No idea, folks. Can't under I can't tell you if I just got really unlucky and it just glitched on me or or what, but it, it was not working. Like, no matter where I pulled it from, it just, nope. Nope. So, yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't know what to tell you about that, but apparently... It only likes to be to pull out the little plug in one spot, and I'm gonna show it to you here in a second. Um, yeah, but that that's ridiculous that I, I can't pull it from any spot on the pool. Absolutely ridiculous. Like I don't understand why that's I don't know. Anyway, but uh, so if you stand on the left side of the pool, um, uh, it's it, some it, for some reason it reads it better. I, I guess that I guess is the best explanation I can give you, and it I guess. That's that's where it wants to work from. So my suggestion is go to the left side of the pool and pull it from there, and then it should work. Here you go, right here. Yep, right there. I, I don't I don't even know that because I clearly did that like twenty thousand times. But once you get the plug to come out, jump off the diving board and grab the mini kit, and that'll be number eight for the level. So, <sighs> yeah, th this is my rant level. I think I don't I don't rant as much as the next one. I promise, or I won't rant as much as the next one. But for now, this is my rant episode, and you have to listen to it, because it's just absolutely ridiculous sometimes. Hey, wait till we get to some of the later levels, and then, then it'll be really fun. <laughs> You're going to hear some, some, some fun things about this game that you probably did not know, or maybe you did if you played it already. Alright, so on the next landing pad in the back left corner uh, will be like a trash compactor or emptier, whatever you want to call it. And all you have to do is just drop all three of the trash cans on the little purple base there. And once you do that and he empties all three of them, the mini kit will pop out uh, right to the left there. And that will be number nine for the level. So, only one more to go. And I will not show you me, me beating the level. Um, there's really no reason to. We have story walkthroughs for that if you need to know how to beat the level. The link to the playlist is in the description below, so be sure to check that out if you have any trouble with any of the story levels. Um, but the other reason I won't is because you can actually save and quit the level once you get everything, and it, it, it will it will still count. You do not have to actually finish the level after getting all the collectibles. Uh, yeah, I, I actually do it for most of these just because I was kind of worried that it would glitch on me. But the last like ten or so levels, I uh, I saved and quit the level, and it actually s did not give me any trouble whatsoever. So. Um, if you guys are looking to cut off some time off your gameplay, then that I would definitely suggest doing that. So, But once you launch the spaceship, uh, go outside again and just shoot it. And I'm having some serious trouble doing that for absolutely no reason whatsoever. And once you do it, that'll give you the 10 mini kit. So that is going to do it for this level. Um, yeah, so I said sorry I ranted so much, but there were just a lot of things about this level that just really frustrated me. So... Uh, yeah, I promise you next level will, I will be better. I can't promise about the levels after that, but for the next level, I promise I'll be better. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, and as always, make sure you check us out on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, like and subscribe to us on YouTube, and check us out on Google+, and I will see you guys very, very soon.